Hi everybody, this is Mrs. El Kissimmee and I am gonna take a minute to help explain how you all are going to be doing your constructing compounds lab today. Your worksheet um, looks like this. It says constructing compounds and you're gonna see that there are three different compounds that you're going to be creating models for. The one that I'm going to show you is going to be for um, the water molecule. So before you get started, there are some materials that you need to collect. Um, at school, we are using some um, colored marshmallows uh, and spaghetti sticks, but you probably don't just have those laying around your house. So what you might have, hopefully, is a variety of coins. So what I am going to be using to show you how to do this with is I have uh, six pennies and I've got three nickels and I have two quarters. You can use different coins, but you need three different types of coins and you need six of one type, three of one type, and two of another type. Okay, so now that you hopefully have collected your coins, um, these here, in, in my case here, I've got these six pennies. These are gonna represent um, hydrogen atoms. The three nickels that I have, those are gonna represent oxygen atoms. And then the two quarters that I have are gonna represent carbon atoms. So the very first compound that we're going to make is the compound of water. First, I want you to look at the chemical formula for water. It's H with a subscript 2, O. We just say H2O. What that tells us is this number that's here, subscript after the chemical symbol, which is H for hydrogen, that tells us there are two hydrogens. If there is not a number after the symbol, that tells you that there's just one, okay? So for this um, molecule, I am going to need two hydrogens and one oxygen. So my pennies are representing my hydrogens. And um, my nickels are representing my oxygens. So I'm going to set those there. Now, if you happen to have um, some toothpicks or something, you can also use those to kind of connect them together so that you can make a, a model, okay, so looks something like that. Of course, um, we want you to draw a picture of your model as well, but you guys who are doing this virtually, um, you're gonna need to actually take a picture of the models and attach them to the assignment as well. But after we have our model built, we see we've got um, two hydrogens, and one oxygen. Now I'm gonna take this model and I'm gonna draw it in what's called a ball and stick drawing. So I'm just gonna kind of scoot this over here to the side just a tad. Okay, there we go. There's my, there's my model. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Anyway, then you're gonna draw it and to do a, draw and, uh, excuse me, a ball and stick model of a molecule. You're gonna draw a circle for each of the um, atoms, and you are going to connect those with sticks. That's why it's called the ball and stick model. Then you're going to put the symbols on, in the circles to represent which atoms they are. So in this case, we've got our two hydrogens are going to be these here. Notice those are my pennies. And then um, the one in the middle is my oxygen, and so I'm going to put the O for oxygen there. So now I have my picture here, or my actual model with pennies and nickels, and then I have my drawing. Now you're also going to be asked to count the atoms. So to do that, this first one's already done for you. The symbol goes here, and then the name. So H is hydrogen, and you see how many of them are there? One, two. So there's a two there. So now let's look at the oxygens. How many oxygens do we see? Just one, and so here's oxygen. I'm gonna put the name of there in here. So oxygen, and there is only one. So I'm gonna put a one there. Now this next one says, how many elements are in this compound? Well, I'm gonna look here. Each of these is an element. So there are one, two elements in this compound. 
And how many total atoms are there? I'm gonna count these up. Two plus one is three. So there are three total atoms in each molecule of the compound water. All right, it's as simple as that. If you wanna use other materials to make your models out of, that is perfectly fine. Um, just make sure that you take a picture of your models and you attach them to your assignment as well as completing the lab sheet. Um, you'll also see that there are, well, there's a lot of coins there. Um, there's things on the back for counting atoms as well. So on the back, well, they'll be on a separate sheet for you guys. But anyway, make sure that you complete all of it and practice counting atoms. And if you have any difficulty, please reach out to your teacher during um, their Google Meet time. All right. I hope you guys have fun and we'll be building some more molecules um, later on this week. So I hope you enjoy.